Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. The Oran is in the bow as one that Nigerians might, might witness the Niger Coop situation if judges issue the wrong judgment. As Nigerians expect the presidential election petition tribunal to make its ruling, the Oran is in the bow social cultural organization has cautioned the judges against issuing an erroneous judgment. And is it for one that if the judges render a wrong decision, Nigerians will be forced to witness a military coup similar to the, to the one that occurred in Nigeria Republic. The Nigerian general elections in 2023 are tainted by claims of anomalies and a disregard for electoral regulation, and the organization has advised the judiciary to be impartial in its judgment. Okichoko Izuguzoro, the gross fractional secretary general, stated that the failure to follow the electronic transfer of election results from, from polling places to the independent National Electoral Commission INEX Central System, known as IREV, further found these worries. Izuguzoro made the comments in a statement As Nigerians eagerly await the decision of the presidential election tribunal, their expectations are high for an impartial and uncompromised judgment. And is in the bow, which is the apex social cultural organization in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The group aims to represent the interest of all Igbo communities within the land and outside the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Igbo State Union, the precursor to the Oanese in the bow, was founded in 1934 by Igbo elites and intellectuals to advance the interest of the Igbos in what was the was then the colony and protectorate of Nigeria, ruled by the British Empire. After the 1966 anti-Igbo program and the Nigerian Civil War, hundreds of prominent Igbo conveyed to unify Igbos under a new umbrella organization, the Igbo National Assembly. This organization was later banned by the Nigerian military, military dictatorship. The military dictatorship in Nigeria was a period when the, Niger- the members of the Nigerian Armed Forces held power in Nigeria from 1966 to 1999, with an interludium from 1979 to 1983. The military was able to rise to power often with the tactic support of the elite through coup dictat. Since the country became a republic in 1963, there has been a series of military coups in Nigeria. The military dictatorship in Nigeria began with the coup d'etat of 1966, which was planned and executed by a group of revolutionary, revolutionary Nigerian nationalist officers, started as a small rebellion military cell until under Emmanuel Ifeajuna, Major Chukwe Meka Kaduna Iziogu was the face of the coup attempt, which involved five other armed groups, Timothy Ota Tegu, Chris Anuforo, Don Okafo, Adewale Adimoyega, and Umfri Chukuka. It operated as a clerestin movement in junior officers during the post-independence period of 1960 to 1966. The plot received support from left-wing intellectuals who rejected conversative elements in society, like the traditional establishment of northern Nigeria, and sought to overthrow the first Nigerian Republic. Major General Johnson Agun Yorosi was made the head of the federal military government of Nigeria, serving for six months after being overthrown and assassinated in 1966's Nigerian counter coup. Aguin Rossi was succeeded by General Yakubu Gowan, who established a Supreme Military Council. Gowan held power until 9, July 1975 when he was overthrown in a bloodless coup. Brigadier Muritala Mohamed succeeded Gowan months later in February 1976. Mohamed was assassinated by the Buka Suka Demka and others in a violent coup attempt. The plotters failed to kill Shegomba Sonjo, who then succeeded Muhammad as head of state. 
The Supreme Military Council was formally dissolved when Oba Sonjo handed power to the elected Shehu Shagari and ended the military regime and established a Nigerian Second Republic. The Second Republic was overthrown by the 1983 military Nigerian coup d'etat and succeeded by Muhammadu Buhari, who was established as a new Supreme Military Council of Nigeria as head of state and commander in chief of the armed forces. Buhari ruled two years until 1985 Nigerian coup d'etat when he was overthrown by General Ibrahim Babangida. General Ibrahim Babangida was promulgated as the president and commander in chief of the armed forces and established the armed forces ruling council. His rule was the longest serving in peacetime and his administration typified the military dictatorship in the 20th century. Bangida promised a return of democracy when he seized power, but he ruled Nigeria for eight years when he temporarily handed power to the interim head of state and national in 1993. In 1993, General Sonia Bacha overthrew the interim Nigerian government and appointed himself chairman of the Provisional Ruling Council of Nigeria. The Nigerian military dictatorship banned the Oanese in the Bull from the fears that existence of the organization would promote Igbo separatism. Thus, a successor banned Igbo organization, the Oanese in the Bull was formed in 1976 by Professor Ben Oma Boese, a constitutional lawyer. The organization was supported by Kingsley Uma Dibui, Dr. Francis Ikanu Ibiam, Dr. Mike Oyeyogunukura Okpara, Dr. Pius Okibo, and Chief Jerome, who served as the first Secretary General among other notable Igbos. The current President General of the ONS in Igbo is Chief Dr. Imam Nechukwemeka Iwanyawo, who is a Nigerian politician and businessman, considered as one of the most richest Igbo men in Nigeria. Chief Emmanuel Wanyawu was born on the September, the 4th of September 1942 to Babenad Wanyawu and Madame Oda Wanyawu in Imoli Atta, the Ikeduru local government area of Imo State of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Though born into a very humble family, Chief Iwanyawu emerged as a politician, businessman, and philanthropist to be reckoned within Nigeria. He started his political career in June 1990. The then military president of General Ibrahim Babangida lifted the ban he placed on political activities, and Emmanuel Uwanyangu emerged as the national chairman of the unregistered Nigerian National Congress. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button, and let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.